Hi everyone. I uh, thought I would check in with you guys and let you know what we are doing in speech right now and what we will be doing in speech this week. Um, okay, so first of all, everyone comes to speech, they sign in name, date, and time, and then they read a poem. Each grade has a different poem depending upon what grade you're in. So. Uh, the second, third, and fourth graders have been reading this poem, Forest Bright by Linda Ori, and currently we've read it so many times we're now at the stages of determining recall and uh, what percent of the poem that they can recall without looking. And once we get past that, they will be working on this packet. Um, this was a, supposed to be a winter break packet, but then I decided to not give a winter break packet, so we're doing it now. I do find that um, many of the kids cannot spell words that have age in it or age or whatever you want to say so this is a poem i wrote called the package and it's uh got all the rhyming words end in age or age or package uh here are vocabulary words and the definitions it even says winter break but we're gonna ignore that i'm sure all the kids will bring it up um vocabulary words matching and then vocabulary words in sentences. So this packet is um, not only a phonemic awareness goal, but then also many of my students have uh, goals for recall and they also have goals for um, generating grammatically correct sentences. So we're working on that. Now, first graders have been reading a poem that I wrote called I Am Unique and they are all at 100% accuracy now in terms of recall and they have a new poem that is called uh, No One Can Stop Me. It's called, it's a poem I wrote. It says, I am strong, but sweet as a song. I keep on going, I keep on flowing. Like the wind and the rain, I cannot be tamed. I can be whoever I want to be. No one can stop me. And just pretty simple. I tend to write the first graders poems just because uh, it's much, I can use simpler vocabulary words than maybe some of the flower e language that is uh, in most poetry. All the kindergartners, they do uh, chicken soup with rice according to the month by Maurice Sindak. Maurice Sindak. And uh, here's that poem. I let them color the soup. When we finish with this package, packet, which is only for this week, because it was, like I said, a winter break packet, um, the second, third, and fourth graders, they will be reading um, Hope is the Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. Next. Okay, so what we have been working on this week has been a couple different things. So we have here, a lot of my students have goals for phonemic awareness that they will generate five rhyming words for a given word. So we have speak and bury here. Another phonemic awareness goal that they have is that they will segment words into syllables. So water, melon, four, and so on. Um, they also have goals that they will identify and interpret for figurative language. And here is um, some sarcastic and some sincere figurative language, such as, he is as friendly as a monster. What does this mean? It means he's not very friendly. It actually means he might be mean and scary. Stuff like that. So that's sarcastic. Um, and then we have different words here that they have to tell me whether they mean happy, sad, calm, or mad. So we have relaxed means calm, joyful means happy, furious means mad, depressed means sad, and so on. And then what else? Oh, I have more. So then we have more some metaphors here. So the classroom is a zoo, Mary's eyes are fireflies, and we have to say what this really means. Everyone's done pretty well with that. And uh, finally here we have some similes. So he is as blank as a blank and so on. They have to fill in the blank and then create their own at the end. Another thing that we've been working on across all of the grades is verbs and verb tenses. So here's the word, here's the past tense, here's the present progressive. So we have add, added, adding allow, allowed, allowing, and then we go to irregular past tense, which has been very tricky for everyone across the board, regardless of what grade they're in. Buy, bought, buying, bite, bought, fighting. So not only have they had a difficult time determining the irregular past tense verb, but they've also had a difficult time spelling. So we're working to improve that. 
and uh, the rest I showed you already. And that's it for now. If you follow me on Patreon, and if you're a subscriber, a Patreon subscriber,